Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be doing another work vlog from the office with me. And so for those of you who don't know, I am a financial analyst. I work in corporate finance at a renewable energy company. And so in a little bit, I will be heading out. And then once I'm at the office, I will check in with you guys again and let you know what my schedule is for the day. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, I am now at the office and so if we look at my schedule today, I have three meetings. The first one starts very soon and that is my meeting with the rest of my core team. And so we are close to 15 people on my team. And at that meeting, we basically just take turns, like giving an update on what are we working on? How is all of that going? And then if we like as an entire team have any projects that we're working on all together, then we talk about those too and figure out next steps for that. But yeah, that is basically just what that is. It's just a weekly check in. And then a little bit late in the day, I have an update meeting on one of the projects that I'm assigned to. And so we are pretty far in the process with that project. And so it's basically just like finalizing and aligning sort of at the end of this business case round. And so I'm looking forward to that, seeing, you know, all our work coming to fruition. And then my last meeting for the day is in the afternoon. And that is about one of the other projects that I'm currently working on. And that one is sort of like very far ahead, very sort of high tech, new tech, all of that. And we will be going over all the CapEx estimates for that one and sort of looking more into the budget there. So yeah, that is all my meetings for the day. I typically spend around three hours in meetings every day. And so this is a pretty typical day for me. And then for the remainder of the time, I will be spending almost all my time in Excel today. I'll probably be spending an hour or to in powerpoint too but um, mostly excel and so yeah that is what the day looks like and um, i will head over to my first meeting now and then i will check in again with you soon Also, for those of you who are new to the channel, I wanted to just give you like a quick overview of my main responsibilities as a financial analyst. And so at the core of my job, I basically help ensure that we as a company spends and invests our capital in the most effective way possible. And I do that by valuing future potential investment projects. And I value those using a discounted cash flow model in Excel. And so for any project, we have like an entire project team and I work very closely with that whole project team and they all give me different inputs. And then I sort of gather all of those inputs, put them into one model and then come up with a valuation based on that. And then we sort of go back and forth in the project team to figure out ways where we can improve the project and improve the valuation of the project and all of that. So yeah, that is basically my job in a nutshell. again guys it is now the afternoon and i wanted to give you an update on how things are going so first of all i had my team meeting this morning and it went well we just all sort of shared an update on the things that we are working on right now uh, something very exciting is that we had a new person join our team just like last week and it is a woman <laughs> So I am now officially no longer the only woman on my team, which is so nice. So I'm pretty excited about that and she seems super nice. And it's not just in my team that we are like significantly more men than women, like it's 
it's across the entire finance department to be honest and like to be honest that's something that i have sort of had to get used to when i joined the workforce two years ago after graduating because like in school I, it was like not exactly 50 50 but pretty close but yeah that is something that i've had to get used to and i mean to be honest i don't really care like what gender the people that i work with are you know like if they're men or women or like anything in between but it's still just you know kind of strange to me like that there are more women around but anyways we got a new team member so i am super excited to get to know her better and then after that i did a couple hours of work in excel where i was looking at different valuation scenarios from one of the projects that i'm assigned to so looking at sort of you know best case worst case middle case scenarios for like different cost inputs and revenue inputs and stuff like that and then after that i had lunch with some of my co-workers we have like a dining hall in the office building so it's super easy we just go down there and you know there's like a buffet and we just like pick whatever we want to eat and then after lunch i had that update check-in meeting on one of the other projects that i work on where we discussed the different capex numbers that we use for that project because as you might know the markets have been very very volatile this year and the prices of a lot of different commodities have gone up an insane amount because of all the different supply chain issues and so on and on top of that, interest rates have been rising too. And so like, it's a really difficult environment to be in right now because like when the interest rates go up, our WEC go up. So that's the rate that we discount our cash flows with. And so when that rate goes up higher, our cash flows are essentially worth less to us. And so when that goes up, we essentially have to have higher cash flows to make up for that change. And so that, you know, makes it harder to make a viable business case. And then when the prices of all these different commodities go up, you know, the expenses that we have within our CapEx budget go up too. And so, you know, that makes our cases worse also. And so like, there's just a lot of different forces right now working against us and all the other companies in this industry and a ton of other industries too. And so it's an interesting environment to be in. And there's just a lot of discussions because of that around all these different factors in our business cases and projects. And so we are trying to navigate that as best as we can and i'm definitely learning a lot in the process like even though this is a difficult environment and it's definitely not super fun for the companies i think like as an employee i'm learning a lot from being part of the process i guess of figuring all this out and navigating it so it's definitely interesting and exciting even though it's a little bit difficult too so yeah, that's what we discussed at that meeting. And then in like an hour or so, I have my last meeting of the day, probably my last meeting. And at that meeting, so that's for a different project that I'm working on. And at that meeting, we are also going to be talking about, you know, our CapEx estimates and our cost estimates in general, because, you know, the numbers that we were using a month ago for that project aren't the right numbers anymore because prices have gone up so much since. So that is a challenge, but an exciting one, like I mentioned. So it's sort of like a theme across all the different projects, basically. But yeah, I have that meeting a little bit later today. And so apart from that, I think what I'll be doing for the rest of the day is, so first of all, I have some more work in Excel to do. I'll be doing some different sensitivities. So looking at like, if we change this input this much, how much will NPV and RR change? So I'll be doing some of that. And then I will be doing a little bit of work in PowerPoint too, uh, working on some slides for one of the projects. And so I'm gonna update those. And so, yeah, that is probably what I will be focusing on for the rest of today. Oh my god guys do you guys think i can balance this on my head it's kind of tough because i have a headband on but let's see oh my god oh my god guys my true talent right here ah! <laughs> i guess it wasn't my true talent after all Oh, also, I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys on like my latest work blocks on how I became a financial analyst, what my background is, my experience, what I studied, all of that. And so I figured I would do a video on that and I will probably post that in about a week from posting this video. And so if you're interested in watching that video, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification. Also, just in general, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Like, I recently started on YouTube and it's been so rewarding. And I really, really love, like, this community that we're building. And so, just thank you. I really, really enjoy this. But, okay, without further ado, let's get back into my work block. <laughs> I am back home 
from now. I just got back from work. It is, I think, close to 7 p.m. or so. And I wanted to just check in with you, give you an update on how the rest of my day went. And so I had my last meeting, um, and that was pretty similar to the meeting I had earlier today. This was just for like one of my other projects. And so at this meeting, we again talked about all these different cost increases that we are seeing sort of across the board, really, especially on the CapEx side, because so many different commodities that we use for these projects have increased dramatically in price. And so we were discussing the different ways of keeping the return on this project high enough. And then after that, I finalized the PowerPoint presentation for one of my other projects. I only have three projects, but I know it sounds like a lot, but it's, it's really not. It's manageable for sure. Also, speaking of meetings and stuff, especially meetings with you know, people that are way more experienced than you and maybe in way more senior positions than you are, like something that I have learned over the past two years where I've been working since I graduated is that people really don't care too much about what you say in meetings they care way more about whether or not you say something because they simply don't remember exactly what it is that you say but they just remember whether or not you participated and that is something that has helped me a lot personally to sort of remind myself because in the beginning when I started working I was really just intimidated to speak up and share my thoughts and ideas because I was thinking well you know everyone here is like older than me more experienced than me but what I've come to realize is people really want to hear your ideas so yeah, that's like my little piece of advice for you guys. If you have felt similar to me, feel intimidated and stuff to speak up in meetings, like really try not to be, people don't focus that much on you, they focus more on themselves and people tend to just really appreciate it when people speak up and have opinions about stuff and have ideas. So yeah, that was my little tip. But anyways, I will go have some dinner now and then I will study CFA afterwards. For those of you who don't know, I am doing CFA level three in August this year. I did level 1 and level 2 last year in 2021. Um, I also actually made a video about sort of my top study tips for passing and studying for level 1 and I would say that all of it applies to level 2 too to be honest. So just in case you're interested, I'll link that up on the screen. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had so much fun bringing you guys along with me to work and I would definitely love to continue making these work vlogs. And if there's anything else you would like me to make videos about, like please let me know in the comments. I love getting ideas from you. And in case you want to stick around and haven't already, please subscribe. And then I will see you next week. Bye!